Hi, this is Kenji Kato again for the Stanford Professional Publishing Course. And today we're talking with Jonathan Alter, a senior editor at Newsweek and columnist. And Jonathan, one of the things that we're interested in is the changing landscape between the traditional publishing market and even media market and the emerging like YouTube market and how it's affecting the political landscape, everything from uh, new shows that come out that have a, a smaller viewership than traditional media marketplaces or s lower readership uh, versus all the new media that's coming out on the web? Well, it's just a uh, brave new world, uh, f usually for better um, overall, also for worse in certain ways. Uh, the great thing about the time that we're living in is that media is helping democratize the world and, and break uh, the stranglehold uh, of big money and some other interests that have uh, had too much influence in our process. So to, just to give you what I think is the most important contribution of the internet uh, in American politics, uh, if you look at something like the campaign of Barack Obama, whatever you think of Barack Obama, it's really good news for this country that he's had 250,000 contributions with more than 80% under $100. It means that, you know, should he or somebody like him who also uses the internet to raise money uh, get elected president, they will not be beholden in the same way that our politicians have been in the past. So, you know, my hope is that that can now be extended down into other kinds of uh, political races. We have a situation now where, in terms of the costs of gathering news, um, talk is cheap and reporting is expensive because uh, you know anybody can talk like we're doing now it doesn't cost anything but a Baghdad bureau costs a lot of money sending somebody over to cover something costs money uh, hiring reporters costs money so what's happening is we have less reporting and we have more chatter and I'm not sure that that's necessarily a good thing uh, for our understanding uh, of our world. Um, so I'd say that that would be on kind of the negative side. I am reminded of something that uh, my friend Michael Kinsley, um, who is the founding editor of Slate, you know, said when he goes to a restaurant, he does want the food prepared by the chef, not by the person at the next table, you know. So there is still a role for people who've been trained in journalism, who've come up, who have some uh, level of expertise um, and I don't think that role should push everybody else out I welcome everybody you know I think it's great I think I read a lot of blogs myself I think the blogosphere is fantastic but it, we knew, do need to understand it in some context and not throw out all of the old and assume that old is bad and new is good sometimes old is pretty good and sometimes new is pretty crappy so right. keep, to keep all that in mind mm -hmm.